Sometimes the fruit we import from the southern United States comes with a little something extra. That's what a Nova Scotia man believes happened to him. He's now been told he's likely been bitten by a brown recluse spider that arrived with some fruit. A caution now that the effects of the spider's bite may be quite disturbing for some to see. CTV's Ron Shaw has the story. Stephen McKellar feels good enough today to harvest some beans from his garden for supper. But last Wednesday, before leaving on a family vacation, he noticed something. Felt a little tenderness in my leg, so just sort of brushed that off and, and then, you know, it was tender there, so I looked and it just looked like an oversized mosquito bite. By Thursday, it looked like this and his wife became concerned. I could tell that it was really bothering him, so that's when I thought this is probably something that's not a horse fly or something that we should be concerned about. They were later told by a doctor that it was likely one of these, a brown recluse spider. Megan tried to get him to see a doctor on Thursday because it was getting much worse, but he thought it could wait. On Friday, it was to the point where obviously the Benadryl and whatnot wasn't working and I got a little concerned about infections. By Friday afternoon at emergency in the hospital in Tatamagush, he was getting massive doses of antibiotics and other drugs intravenously. A circle was drawn around the bike to see how fast the venom was spreading. Now it's just starting to eat away at the tissue because the venom is necrotic, so it'll eat away at the skin. He's still on antibiotics, taking about 10 pills a day. It upsets his stomach, but he feels lucky. Some people who've had brown recluse spider bites have lost limbs. The spider can remain dormant for months in hiding, hitching a ride to Canada on fruit from the southern U.S. I think it was in a pair of my shorts. There was an older pair of shorts that I had bundled up on the floor in the closet and I guess they like to live, you know, reclusive spiders. After going through this experience and doing some research, they found out that things could have been much worse. So they have a very strong message for anyone who brings fruit into their home. Check your produce, I guess. Grapes and bananas are, are what I was told that these things can come in on. Both parents are glad their children weren't bitten by the spider. Ron Shaw, CTV News, Middle Cornwall, Nova Scotia.